Hello, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I just finished reading the short story The Crocodile by Dostoevsky. I read it um, on Kindle format. Um, it's, a, it's a short story and I just wanted to talk about it very briefly. Um, I, I'm still fully forming all of my thoughts about it um, because it's, it's, it's a very bizarre short story. It's very unlike any other Dostoevsky short story that I've read. Um, personally, to me, it felt very similar to the likes of Nikolai Gogol. Um, it's a lot more whimsical, a lot more absurd, and a lot more um, unrealistic in its plot than a lot of Dostoevsky's other short stories. The main premise of The Crocodile is a man named Ivan Matvich gets swallowed uh, by a crocodile. Um, and he gets uh, swallowed into this crocodile and he finds that it's it's hollow on the inside. Um, and so through the through the short story, we have this character, we have we have a narrator who's traveling with his friend Ivan Matvich and Ivan Matvich's wife. And um, through the progression of the story, we have this man who is stuck inside of this crocodile. Um, he's still alive and he's able to talk with the other characters who are outside of this crocodile and it's it, it it carries on through the events of this one day and it starts in the morning with this character um, and his his wife and our narrator who are traveling for the day in the city and they pass an exhibit that says there's a um, a German exhibit that is showing off a crocodile and they all agree that, that would be a really interesting thing to go see. And so they go to see this exhibit that has this large tank with this the, with this crocodile inside of it and, and you can pay a certain amount and go and, and be able to get up close to the crocodile and see it. And so they pay their money and they go into this, this exhibit hall and um, Ivan Matvich um, is, uh, is feeling very brave that day and he he's talking with the narrator and the wife about how he he you know he feels the best he's ever felt on this morning and he goes up and he starts um kind of petting stroking the crocodile on the nose with his glove and the crocodile lunges up out of uh, up out of the water at him and grabs him by the waist between his teeth and um and, and the short story describes it as starts to slowly choke him down um but but not eating him and it, and and um Yvonne Matvich just slips into the belly of this crocodile and he stays in there and he realizes once he's in the crocodile he has this epiphany that this could be he, he's a businessman and he has this epiphany that this could be the greatest thing to ever happen to him because he can have this extraordinary platform now and he can have this way of being able to educate the the world through such a su such an absurd and entertaining medium and he kind of starts going off on all these business plans and all these ideas of how he's going to be able to share his intellect with the world now because he has such an interesting situation that other intellectuals don't have the luxury of having and he even starts talking about how he could make this into a business of of having crocodiles that then people could slip into and be able to um, be able to increase their their range of audience because of this interesting situation they could have themselves um, put into. Um, and so the short story it has a lot of of different undertones to it. It's it's definitely mainly satirical. It's a it's a it's it's a, it's a work of satire, uh, but it also has a lot of undercurrents of of different jabs at social and political reform in Russia in the um, late 1800s when it was written. Um, and like I, like I was saying at the beginning, it feels a lot like a piece that would be written by Gogol. Gogol was the master of the absurd short story. I mean, we have the overcoat, we have the nose, a story where a nose leaves our main character's face and goes off and lives his own life and creates a life for himself separate from his owner's face. And and so this book, the short story rather, felt very similar to that sort of whimsical, absurd, um, Gogol-esque story. I really enjoyed it. It's a very short read. It's 43 pages, or at least my version is 43 pages. Um, and so I highly recommend recommend it, recommend it to, to Dostoevsky fans. Um, but don't go into it thinking you're going to be getting something that you would know as Dostoevsky because 
the his typical darkness, his typical depth is not necessarily represented in this work. Um, but you can definitely see that is it, that it is still Dostoevsky. You can still um, be able to pull out characteristics that he was able to really, really mature later on in his life into what became the iconic writing style that is Dostoevsky. Um, so again, um, this is called The Crocodile, a, a really short, very interesting satire. Um, I, one that I'm still forming all of my thoughts on um, just because it's so absurd and there are so many depths of absurdity to it that um, while you're reading it, it's, it's very entertaining and you're not really able to process all the undercurrents, all the undertones that are going on until after you finish reading it. And I, I just finished reading this literally three minutes before filming this video and so a lot of my thoughts are still churning um and and so i'm sure that this book will be popping up again on my channel in the future um again just because of, of how interesting it is and how out of um out of style it is for dostoevsky to write something like this um thank you so much for watching i uh i hope you enjoyed and um i will see you next time bye for now